Okay, so this is Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, and uh, at the moment, if you go to the official site and go to the download section, you'll find that for Raspberry Pi 4, if we scroll down, you can see that it only goes up to a version 19.10 at the moment. The new version is due out today, so the 23rd of April. I don't know where the developers are, but it could happen later on today, so it might turn up on this page. But because it's uh, a Raspberry Pi, so it might not be their main focus. They might focus on their main images which come up, so when you click on download. So these might be the first ones to get an update. If you want 20.04 LTS, if you go to the daily build page, which I've featured in a couple of my other videos, and download the 64-bit version, which is what this is, you'll find that if you run all the updates that are available, you can have Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, because this used to say developer, and either yesterday or maybe the day before, uh, it changed to Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. And this runs really well. I would definitely recommend it as a, as a great 64-bit operating system for the Pi. Uh, it still has uh, the tearing issue in YouTube, which has now Oh, there is a workaround, uh, and I'll put a link in the description for Raspbian. There's a workaround for YouTube. But if I go to YouTube, so you can see the tearing test doesn't work well at 1080. And I tried some of the solutions uh, which were left. Uh, a lot of people had left comments in these videos that I'd done on tearing on Raspbian, uh, but none of them worked for Ubuntu. But it has only just been sorted out for Raspbian, so I'm sure at some point soon someone will work out a way of getting YouTube to play without tearing in Ubuntu. If you want to see what distros you can use uh, in Ubuntu 20.04, I covered it recently in this video and uh, I just went through and installed every distro into this operating system I'm using now uh, just to see what they all look like. And You could see a snapshot there, uh, but if you go through that video you can work out which one you prefer. Now which one do I prefer? Now. Obviously, I'm using Ubuntu, the standard Ubuntu desktop, which you still have to install, but I really like it. This is this is definitely out of all of them. It's my favorite one. I really like the dock uh, and the fact that when you open an app, it shows you what app is open. Uh, I think that's a really nice feature. Uh, the file management is excellent. Um, so all the folders and uh, it works really well with my NAS drive. It looks great as well. Every aspect of this looks great as an operating system. Uh, if I go to show applications. I like the way, uh, just like on my phone, if I want to search for an application, I can start typing it in and it will come up and I can click on it. And you can even see from this window that terminal here is already open. And I really like that as a, as a nice touch as well. Uh, and all the audio and Wi-Fi is very simple. The settings is superbly laid out. So really easy to see, and uh, you know it's it's. I like the way that you've got things on the left. Click on that, and then it comes up with options on the right hand side. I think overall, trying out all the other distros, I thought this version, the Ubuntu desktop version, just got everything right really. Uh, so hopefully we'll get that tearing fixed soon, um, and uh, hopefully it will be available as a download. So you can keep looking at the Ubuntu site and clicking on downloads and at some point this may change but you obviously need to click on the Raspberry Pi 4 bit uh, or you can download the daily build, so this daily build, 64 bit for Pi 4 and then just let it run through the update. You can run sudo apt update and then sudo apt upgrade and uh, I think that does enough. So the system auto updates itself uh, with Ubuntu. So every time it starts up, it gives you the option to install the updates. Uh, and that's how I got this to run the full version. But, uh, but yeah, I'm really pleased with it. Everything's working really well, but hopefully someone has a fix for the tearing. That'll be great to see. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.